5 Top Investing Apps for Beginners in 2021 Today, we are covering the best investing apps for beginners. We are going to go over the top 5 user-friendly apps for new investors that will help you decide which is the best investing app for you. Hey, welcome back guys to yet another episode on this channel. If you're new here on this channel, we discuss everything business related, how to make money online, we review businesses, websites and apps and finally, we discuss a little about investing and personal finance. So, if all that sounds good to you, go ahead and smash that red subscribe button and notification bell so that you can be informed anytime we put out a new video. With that out of the way, let's get into the video straight away. Like I said today, we're going to talk about some user-friendly investing apps that will give you the most user-friendly mobile interface and overall best user experience. Bear in mind that the best investment apps for beginners usually offer low fees to the types of accounts and investment products they care about most. In my opinion, the app you choose should suit your investment style and offer the tools you need to achieve your financial goals. You've probably heard that the best time to buy is when everybody else is selling. But maybe you're not sure what to do with that information or feel like you don't have enough money to get started investing. You may also are not sure which brokerage to entrust with your hard earned money. That's where the best investing apps for beginners come in. You can learn the ropes without the trouble of dealing with a financial advisor or the difficulty of finding trustworthy sources on the internet. In less than 10 minutes, with less than $500, you could be set up in a smartly diversified portfolio with a company that will help you learn as you earn. Moving on, the first investing app on our list for new investors is Acons. If you're looking for an app to use in investing, at this time of coronavirus rampage with just a little money, check out this easy to use app known as Acons. Acons are one of the best investing apps for those who want to get started, even though they may not have a lot of cash to invest at first. This phone app is designed to round up the price of your everyday purchases to the nearest dollar. Then, take that amount, your change, and automatically invest it in ETFs. It does this automatically after you link it to your credit card or checking account. Example, you buy a bag of groceries for $10.45 and pay for it with your linked credit card. Price charged to the card is rounded up to $11. Then, Acons debits the difference from your account and invests it. Acons are by far the simplest investing apps to start with because of their user-friendly mobile interface and several built-in educational resources. Acons charges a flat fee of $1 to $5 per month depending on the features you want. The higher tiers include money advice for you and your family, the ability to set up recovery retirement contributions, and even a checking account with no minimum balance, ATM fees, or overdraft fees. So, who will I recommend the app for versus who will I not recommend it for? For status on the pro side, I would strongly recommend the Acons app for new investors. You can start investing as low as $5. The app has very easy to understand terminology and educational resources built directly into it. Secondly, I would recommend the app for those new investors who want to get a lot of value out of a single app. For the con side, Acons are not an ideal app for active great stock traders as most of the features on the app are geared towards passive investing. Secondly, users of the Acons do not have control over the individual stocks they like to trade. 2. Robinhood 
Robinhood is an easy place to start investing because it has no minimum balance, a simple to understand interface, fractional shares, and doesn't charge commissions or fees. Robinhood also allows you to invest in cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. In addition to individual stocks and ETFs, exchange-traded funds, which is simply diversified portfolios of stocks, bonds, or a mix of both. The company also offers a premium subscription called Robinhood Gold, with a cost starting at $5 a month. Gold offers access to investment research and data and margin trading, which involves borrowing with interest from Robinhood to invest. Can you imagine that? Currently, Robinhood is facing tremendous backlash after it prevented users from buying shares of GameStop, GME, AMC Entertainment, AMC, Nokia, NOK, NOK and other stocks during a Reddit-influenced share price surge. But that notwithstanding, it remains one of the best apps for beginner investors. Meanwhile, if you're getting some value out of this video, do well to give it a like as it helps this channel to grow. The next app which we are going to cover is Statch. Stash lets you invest with no minimum and monthly fees which vary from $1 to $9 depending on account type. The beginner account allows you to invest in fractional shares of an individual stock, bond or ETF. The $3 per month growth account allows for individual retirement accounts and the Big Stash Plus offering provides monthly market research and allows for custodial investment accounts for kids. Its auto start feature lets you schedule regular investments and, like Acons, it allows you to round up purchases and invest the spare change. Stash recommends investments to you based on the profile you build at sign up. It's also one of the best investment apps if you want to get digestible educational content to boost your trading knowledge. Plus, it offers personalized guidance, challenges, and quizzes. It even has a podcast. Much like Acons, I will recommend this app for beginners because with Starch, you can start investing at as low as $5. Secondly, they have very easy to understand terminology all through the investment process, much like Acons. Such app is also ideal for those who want to invest passively but may want a little more control or customization over their investment portfolios because in the stash you do have those investment automation tools but you also can invest in hundreds of individual stocks and ETFs. Even greater, you can invest in fraction shares of major companies on stash. Again, I will say that Stash is ideal for those who want to get a lot of value out of a single app because quite frankly, Stash is very versatile. 4. Betterment Betterment LLC helps you plan savings and investments for specific life goals such as funding a safety net, a child's education, a retirement nest egg, or major purchases like a home or wedding. Betterment's basic plan has an annual advisory fee of 0.25%. It also has a premium plan with a fee of 0.4%, which offers access to professional advice but requires a $100,000 balance. Betterman says the ETFs it uses has an average fee of 0.11%. It changes no other fees and there is no minimum balance for an account. The last investing app we're going to cover is M1 Finance. This app allows you to build a flexible, custom portfolio of individual stocks and funds or choose from dozens of pre-mixed options for free. 
While it will likely appeal to experienced investors and has a paid option that lets you pick the time of day to trade or invest, among other things, it's also one of the best investment apps for beginners who don't want a lot of hand-holding. M1 Finance lets you automate your contributions and supports fractional share investing, which is investing in expensive stocks without buying full shares. It doesn't charge any commissions or the management fees that are common elsewhere, but the app can charge a $20 inactivity fee after 90 days for low balances. M1 Finance has a minimum account balance of $100 or $500 for retirement accounts. My favorite app is Acons because it has more user-friendly versatile automation tools. Which app will you go for? Let us know in the comment section below. If you made it to the end of this video, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so and we will see you in the next video. Cheers!